Hi guys, it's Jeremy and Lee, and I just went blank. <laughs> <laughs> right, Welcome. Well, one, <laughs> okay. Two. Uh, hey, hey guys, this is Jeremy and it's Lee, and this is take four. <laughs> take four. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been going blank. Um, but anyway, so here we are. And uh, welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Um, and uh, I just wanted to take this time to say thank you for all everybody who has liked and subscribed. And if you haven't, uh, if you would please do that, it would means the world to us. Um, and uh, I just wanted to say everybody who has voted for the who, last episode of Who, who Did, Did It, it Better. Better? Um, it's been great. If you haven't done that already, please do. And, um, and we will give you the results on the next episode. And uh, and what are we doing today? We are actually, I'm doing a, what's called a swipe, which is this one right here. Um, this is a swipe where you take it and you swipe it. I'll show you all about it whenever I do, whenever I do mine. Um, it's a particularly I, difficult technique. Yes. That, that I, that, that I mastered I, on this one. That I did on this one. I did this one. That one was my picture. Was it really? Yeah. I thought I did it. No, that was mine because I even wanted Mardi Gras colors. So oh, that's, that's right. So this is a okay. problem of having two artists in the house when yes. neither of us can remember who did what painting, yes. which so, is great. Yes. I need to start <laughs> autographing the back of them. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is difficult. So I'm excited to see how yours comes out. Yes, um, it'll be great. Great uh, fun. And I'm going to do the Dutch pour again. We've got some really awesome colours, which I love, that will complement each other. So mm. really excited to see how the Dutch pour comes out. What is a Dutch pour for those who haven't seen? No, I think know we've done it maybe three different times on our videos already. You might have done it once. I've done it a couple of times, but it is this. This is my Dutch pour triptych that I did. That's on the Etsy store link down below yes. um yeah it's going to be blowed out blown out with the hairdryer yes absolutely canela Sirocco style right yes yeah i love her yeah um so and that's about it so why don't yeah. we go ahead and get started let's get painting yeah let's get painting let's get to it all right thanks guys hey guys it's jeremy and uh, i'm gonna start uh today's uh video out with the swipe pour and um, let me go over the colors that we're using today. We're using the Liquitex Payne's Gray. We're using the Liquitex Primary Blue. Using the Liquitex Dioxazine Purple. The Artist Loft Silver, which I love. Um, I also like that dioxazine purple. Um, and we're using Liquitex Brilliant Purple today also. Now, I have to flood my canvas and we haven't really shown you this, uh, the flooding of the canvas uh, in, in the past few videos, like on the first one we did it. So I'm going to show, if anybody has never seen this before, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what the Dutch, I mean, what the flooding of the canvas is, but I'm gonna speed all this up. So now, the way that you do a, uh, now that the canvas is all flooded, the way that you do a swipe is um, you lay down the colors that you want to be pulled and you use a piece of paper, wet paper towel to set it down and to pull it. I have something right in the middle of my... Uh, popsicle sticks on the right side. Some people use like plastic, you know, like um, plastic that you get that you put paper in, in folders and stuff. But um, I think we found that the paper works better for us, the wet paper. The wet paper towel, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna start with the color that I want to be the base color, um, which is gonna be this dark one right here. And this was the Payne's Gray. 
which always looks like navy, I think, on camera, but it yeah. is very grey. It is very shake, grey. Um, do, will you just shake it for me first, of just course. because I mixed them a little while ago. Perfect. And I'm going to speed up this process too for you guys. Okay, here we go. Don't jiggle it. When you jiggle it, it looks like noodles. Okay, okay the cells will start to come through. So yeah. Don't drip that back over your painting. I'm not. Yeah, it's it's a swipe, it's not. I'm gonna have to like Awesome. Okay, hmm. so now I'm gonna go this way with it. I'm wondering if I should like no, I think I think I'm just gonna go this way with it now. Are you gonna turn the canvas or are you gonna swipe away from yourself? I'm gonna swipe away from myself. Yeah? Yeah. And the cells coming through are amazing. What? No, I was going to say you're going to add any more colour, but I think you've got a lot of colour on there, right? I do. It's interesting how this side came so blue. Right? The cells will, will mute it. Because look, you can see them already popping up. Yeah. And the beauty about the the beauty about the swipe is um, you can go over it even if you want to, you know, a couple of times. Yeah. I think I might take another piece of paper towel and go o over this a little bit. But I'm only gonna do half of a paper towel at a time. I'm gonna do smaller pieces. And what I'm doing is just wetting the paper towel a little bit. So it's not soaking wet at so all. So it's not soaking You're just wet. You're literally dampening it, yeah, right? I'm damp yeah, dampening. So let's see, let's go here. What's I'm wondering if I should do it right here one more time, just a little piece. Just like right there. What do you think? Tell me. I really like it. I like. I like how I've never seen it crazy sell up quite so much like that. I know. Um, certainly, the one that I did that we showed on the wall had cells in it, but nothing like this. Okay, I like this a lot. Yeah, I love it. It's interesting because this side got so much silver and this got side so it got so much blue. color blue and purples. Yeah, and purples, but I think it's going to dry. I think it's going to dry very interestingly. I think a lot more of the color is going to pop through, especially after I go ahead and torch it again. 
Um, yeah, we're gonna see what happens as it dries, but the cells in this are just crazy. incredible. I mean, it's just crazy. And this is just Floetrol mix. It's, it's I know. our usual mix of, of 100%, it's 50% Floetrol, it's 30% acrylic, and then it's 20% water. I still feel that our flow troll this time round is just a little runny. It's not, it doesn't seem quite as thick as we've had in the past. Okay. But it's certainly an interesting composition. Yeah, it definitely is very interesting how it came out. Um, like I said, we're going to definitely see what happens when it dries. I'm very interested to see how it happens when it, what happens when it dries. But all right, guys, this is it. This is all. All everything right here. Okay, um, welcome back everyone. It's Lee, this time now doing the Dutch pour. Um, I just want to say that that canvas that Jeremy just did is really beautiful. It's even changing and colors are coming through, e even in the two minutes it took me to just flood my canvas. So I'm really excited for you guys to see Thank it you. when it's dry. It looks beautiful. Um, as you know, what we do here, I'm going to use the same colors, slightly different technique. This time I'm going to do the um, Dutch pour. And I've already flooded the canvas in exactly the same way that Jeremy did it. It is the same mix also. Um, and now I'm going to layer my colours. So I'm going to start with one of my favourite colours, this dioxazine purple. So pretty. And then to the primary blue, just to lay down like a, a heavier base. Then with a lighter, so I'm going to use the brilliant purple. I only want a really little bit of this Payne's Grey. I can't see a lot of Payne's Grey in your picture, funnily enough. It's more mm. silver that's come through, but I feel like this will dominate if you use too much of it. So a real little sliver. And now to the silver. Right. Um, I know I talk about our flow troll and not in the nicest of ways. It's the same flow troll we always buy, but we did get it from a slightly different place this time. It was just a hardware store. And for some reason, it seems really runny. It's a consistency that we've used on all of our pictures because you can kind of see the paint disappearing into the white. But I'm gonna give this a go and see what happens. Um, we bought ourselves a new awesome hair dryer, mainly because it's got a shorter nozzle on it, which I just really wanted. Um, same two speeds. Is normal although it doesn't sound quite like a hurricane like the last one did speaking of hurricanes for everyone that's over in Louisiana or anywhere in Dallas sorry Texas or uh, the south um, we hope you guys are safe we're thinking about you we've got family out there too so I uh, hope everyone is safe with this freak weather that we're having all right I'm not going to use the highest setting be careful of keeping your the blow dryer away from the, away from the microphone <laughs> thank you oh quick point so we've had these microphones now for three episodes yes. however this is the first time we've actually worked out that they weren't working before yes so i'm hoping that you're going to be able to hear us a hell of a lot better okay maybe i'll take that down just a little bit all right let's give this a go this white seems a little runny still but i'm going to see how this blows out and i'm going to use the lowest setting Ooh. 
Okay. Okay, I'm super, super pleased with this one. Okay, the only thing I'm just not in love with is just this corner here. The cells are crazy. The, 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 this runny flow troll is giving us the craziest of cells. And I'm guessing it's just because it's really, um, it's making the background colors really runny. So they're just blowing right over each other. But I'm gonna take my trusted little blower, which is this one. I am not gonna mess with this too much because I do actually really like it, especially kind of the line through the middle. Mm. What do you think, Jeremy? I think it's gorgeous. Okay, but I, I kind of want to do something here, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm going to just blow this out really gently, just to try and release some of the color that's underneath. Okay. I would even go a little bit further that way, like, you know what I'm saying? Further out. Yeah, push it. Push it real More good. towards the edge too. You're right. Keep going to the left. There was lots of color underneath. Yeah, that area. I see it, I see it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna do just a tad. See all that blue underneath. Yeah, totally. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna. I could do something here, but I feel like I'm gonna just mess it up. So um, let me just step away a quick second. Okay, I am gonna fuss with it just a little bit. Wow, all that blue underneath. Okay, that is it. I am yeah. not gonna fuss with this anymore. Someone's at the front door. <laughs> not our front door though. Not our front door. But... So we don't have to get it. Let's send the butler. Um, all right, I really love this. Oh my goodness. I kind of I feel too. like I finally redeemed myself on this Dutch pool. Um, I love the cells. I love oh the God. colors. Look at all this. Yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. really pretty. Um, I hope you guys can see this on camera. We're gonna take you in for a close up just so that you can see it even closer. Um, but I'm really happy with this Dutch pour using the colors that Jeremy used. Let's take you in for that close up. Hey guys, so that concludes our video. Um, I hope that you really liked it, the swipe and the Dutch pour that mm -hmm. Lee did. Um, we just wanted to say, uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please. Like and subscribe. And uh, yes, please. And um, we have the paintings that we finished last episode to show, you, uh, to show you right now. Lee, would you like to go first? Should we show them together? Because they, they, it was the, who did it better? Let's see if, oh, we, can yeah, get them, let's see if we can get them both on camera. Hold yours okay. up too. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can. So, on who did it better, they're actually almost identical. I know, well, that is so, so funny. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, clearly we used the same colors, so we knew there'd be a lot of similarities, but I kind of thought they'd be a lot more different, um, especially because we poured differently, I know. we flipped differently. But um, they'd actually look good to good as a pair. Yeah, they would, right? actually. <laughs> <laughs> or even that way. It's almost like a diptych. 
I know. And totally. we pulled these completely separately. I know. It's because we're so in sync. That's what it is. Are we? I know. Um, <laughs> all right. So let me take you in for a real quick close up. Super shiny, gold all the way through it. The metallic blues. They're really pretty. Yes. Yeah, it does catch the light really it well. It does. Like the gold in it and stuff. Yeah. So if you haven't already commented, there is still time <laughs> on who did it better. Um, however, they're so similar. They um, are very similar. <laughs> we were laughing at that when we came in. We we're like, oh my gosh. It's two of the same pictures. Yes. But it was a lot of fun doing it and we yes. still want you to participate. So please still give us a, a, a thumbs up, like thumbs and a up. share. Yes, please. And a comment. Um, what's happening a week from today? A week from today, we have a special guest who's going to be on the show and we are going to get her to do for the first time in her life a Dutch pour. Yes. Probably using the similar colors to what we use today because I know she yeah. loves those colors. She does. Purples and golds. She does. She loves purples um, and golds. But yeah, stay tuned for that because um, we hope it's going to be hilarious. Oh, so, will we? Yeah. <laughs> that will be airing a week from today. Yes. A okay. week from today. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Yeah. Um, just everyone stay safe. Everyone be safe. Please. With the freak weathers. Um, like and subscribe, please, as always. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.